Hey, bro. This is where we start learning about getting attacked by Pokemon if you wander under their shadows. Hey, dude. Each Pokemon possesses an ability. Understanding these lo uh, well leads to victory. Let's do it, bro. Teach me about abilities, even though I already know about them. Rising Star Ian. With your Psyduck. For that Brick Break. Bop. Ooh, nice crit. There we go. And down goes the Psyduck. And Wachi Tom grows to level 17. Shroud grows to level 16. Very nice. And Wachi Tom is evolving! Enter the best mid Evo for a starter Pokemon in all of Pokemon. Fight me on the fucking street. And Wanchi Tong has evolved into the best boy, Dartrix! Dartrix, the Blade Quill Pokemon! This narcissistic Pokemon is a clean freak. If you don't groom it diligently, it will stop listening to you. Same. Actually, let's go down here. What kind of Pokemon can I find here? Oh, also there's an item. A Heal Ball, very cool. Another cutie fly. Group one burb should be able to just trounce this thing pretty easily, I would think. Yeah, just use Peck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no chance. Does Wanchi Tong actually mean something? Uh, it's a reference to Avatar The Last Airbender. Reference to a spirit owl named Wanchi Tong. He who knows 10,000 things. Let's go, Rising Star Tatiana. She's got a Cotton E, okay. Cool. Go ahead and peck you because you're grass type. That's gonna give you nothing back. Nothing. Nothing. Get out of my face. There we go. Alright, so we gotta beat everyone else on Route 3 in order to find out about Roost. I'm assuming there'll be a TM that we get if we, uh, beat him. Whoop! Ran into a Pokemon. I was wondering if, um... I was wondering where anyone else actually is on Route 3. Maybe there's somebody past that guy. Like, I know where we have to go. It's in the Oricorio Meadow. Uh, I guess the Melee Melee Meadow, technically. But, you know, try to take everything in here. Even though, even though some of the stuff is roughly the same. Get that Warnberry. Crap, it's still not done with Fury Attack. And of course you get five hits in the first try, because of course you do. No, no, that would make things too easy if you didn't. That would be silly. Q. 
Okay. Um. Bat, no, get away. Get away. Okay. Go back through the valley. Is there anyone else I forgot? I was already through that top part. There's someone over here. I imagine. Oh, there's Cookie. I can't go there yet. Ooh, a Sooth Bell. Okay, cool. TM there. I have to come back for that later. I'm pretty sure it's the guy on the bridge. So yeah, I have to I have to do the Lily thing first before I can battle the last guy on Route 3 and then go back to the Roost guy. Alright, yep, we gotta find Nebby who's on the other side of the friggin' meadow. Nebby! Nebby, come back! Ah, Daniel! Nebby, you got out of my bag again! There's a little shit. But why would I want to go in that cave? The Ravager got into so much trouble on the bridge, too. But if a lot of Pokemon attacks it, it doesn't have any moves it can use to battle. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, okay. Nice. Extra experience points? Let's go. Learn how long these Roto powers last. Maybe there's an actual time to it, or like a certain number of battles or something? I have no idea, honestly. Probably fairly similar to the O powers from Gen 6. I would like to think. E Honda grows level 16 wants, more, uh, wants to learn Whirlwind? Eh, I'll keep old moves. Okay, let's see. We got a netball, very cool. Yeah, I'm, ex I'm just exploring a little bit. I know we have to go into the cave. Oh, hello, Flabebe. Very wind. Yeah, it's only gonna do four. Okay. Should be able to get away with one more brick break. Then catch this. Oh yeah, we're good. That's for water bug types. I want the Um, no, let's just go with the great ball. Fuck it. I need to buy some more balls eventually. Nice. Cut off a baby. Very cool. And Route 1 Burb grows to level 15. Very nice. Cool. Flabebe, the single bloom Pokemon. Yellow flower. It's not safe without the fla uh, without the power of a flower, but it will keep traveling around until it finds one with the color and shape it wants. Same. We will call you Flower. Power. Nice. Whoops, I didn't want to add to the party. Nope. You are going to the box. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure, I can value. Ooh, Meredith. Hello, aspiring actress. 
I've been imitating the various styles of Oracorio to work on portraying different characters. So if you don't mind a little demonstration, ahem. Alright, let's go! Meredith is here to get this party pumped! I'll be cheering for us both to do our best! And so she's obviously going to have yellow oratorio, pom-pom form. It's probably going to be one of these in each of the, um, in the meadows, I assume. They're just going to have an oratorio form. Yep. So, Wanchi Song, probably not the Pokemon they have out here, because Revelation Dance will be super effective. Yeah, this is not the mod to have out here. Um, I think... Yeah, Wanchi Tong is probably the best bet. Revelation Dance will only be neutral. So. Oh, you're using Pound anyway. Alright. Do the whole four damage. Good job. Okay, let's go with Astonish. Right, you're faster than me, so I won't even get the flinches. Hopefully, it'll do damage. That did nothing? Are you joking? Now, good thing I'm going for Ominous Wind, because now you've lowered my physical attack. Well, I need that- I need that Ominous Wind boost. Thank fuck that Ominous Wind actually did a fair bit of damage. No boost. It's like a 5% chance or something like that, so obviously I'm not gonna get it every time. Especially with only 5 PP. I'd like to get it once, though. That'd be cool. Okay, nice. Ooh, Wanchi Tong growing to level 18. Cool. And Bug Zapper grows to level 15. Yuri Geller grows to level 16. Should be evolving. And... Yup, nice. Hopefully the glitch from the original Sun and Moon games doesn't exist and I actually learn confusion upon evolving like I'm supposed to. That will be very annoying if that happens again. Yuri Geller, uh, blah, blah. Yuri Geller evolves into Kadabra. And Yuri Geller's Kadabra form will be added to the Pokedex. Very cool. Kadabra, that's Psy Pokemon. It stares at a silver spoon to amplify its psychic powers before it lets uh, before it lets loose. Apparently, gold spoons are no good. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure there's a reason behind that. I wouldn't know. Are you learn Kinesis and Confusion? Good. So you actually have an attacking move now. Excellent. Yep, that was my pom pom style performance demonstrated in battle. I think I can really get, uh, I think I really get that kind of character now. Good for you. I hope you do well in your, um, your actress aspirations. Oh, okay, so it's just gonna be Meredith and all the other meadows then. Okay, cool. Got another poison barb. Nice. Okay, I need to fucking... Get back to where I need to go, because I actually do need to find just go get Nebby now. I should only put down Repel. Should I, I just blah. I should actually heal up um Route 1 Burb also a little bit. And Wanchi Tong. Both hurting a bit. Alright, and let's throw down a repel. After we sort by name. Good. Okay. I really want to use Normalium Z right now. I think I will live. I gotta go up and around to get out of this part. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's looking for me. It makes me so happy to see him search for me. It, it's proof how much he, he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. 
Uh, you go ahead and enjoy that. I'm gonna do the plot. Who got an escape rope? Probably gonna need that. Hello, Seaward Cave. Hey, Nebby! The fuck are you doing? Besides being a shit. Ooh, hello, Zossie and Dulce. Phew! Rally around like this sure is tiring. Whoa, so the people of Alola meet in places like this too, huh? Calm yourself, Zossie. There is only one thing we are here to confirm. We must find someone strong enough to protect this blind or er, to protect the blinding one. Let us see if you might be the one. Ooh, hello. This is gonna be our first encounter with the Ultra Recon Squad. We're taking on Dulce. He's got fur fruit, alright. And they have beast balls. Alright, sure. Take a second to appreciate this battle theme though. I'm sorry, this is just so cool. I was jamming out there for a second. Okay, Brick Break. Don't growl at me. It's just gonna make this battle last longer. Although, to be fair, it means I get to listen to the song more. Let's go for Rock Smash. I'll lower your defense. Okay, maybe not because you fucking decided to flinch me. Like a jerk. Uh, now I gotta lower my attack even more. This is just annoying. Got a nice crit. Alright, load your defense. Except for one of my attack drops. Ooh, that's not good. Didn't even get the defense drop that time. Damn it. Let's use one of my supers. My internet's going to kind of rip right now. We'll be back when I get it fixed. Alright, see you later, Abor. Thanks for coming out. We'll be getting your internet fixed pretty soon. Don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. You dick. Okay, I have to just bring out E-Honda for the stab. Brick break. What I should have done from the beginning. Wow, that damage! Could you not? Oh, great. I'm not even faster than you. Excellent. Well, so much for that idea. Okay, why don't you you please handle this? I need Honda alive, so you can get experience. Stop using baby doll eyes! I can't even hit you from the special side because Amis Wind wouldn't affect you because you're normal. There we go. And Route 1 Burb grows to level 16, wants to learn Pluck. It's a slightly more powerful uh, peck, I believe, with an additional effect, yup, of stealing berries. So yes, let's use Pluck. And e Honda grows to level 17, see I knew there was a reason I fucking revived it. Shroud grows, uh, grows to level 17 as well, wants to learn Faint Attack, okay, let's get rid of Scratch. But another stab dark move that wouldn't rely on um accuracy. Cool. I don't understand. Uh I beat you. 
Well, it's hard to really grasp about that. I see. So that is a Pokemon battle. We had tried to investigate what it meant to battle with Pokemon, but it is quite different when you do it yourself. At least it seems that the Pokeball we tried to create has worked properly to capture us a Pokemon here in Alola. And I have seen for myself how strong you are, young Alolan trainer. So, Dulce, what are we going to do? Trainer, you should know that this one here warps away if it is threatened in any way. And the holes are torn open as a result. Invite... Uh, invite dangerous beings into this world, but perhaps things will be all right as long as there are trainers like you and Alola. What about that girl, though? That girl should have nothing to do with our investigations, nor this Pokemon of hers. As long as no one is foolish enough to open a path that could lead here from Megalo Tower. From where, you say? Let us carry on, Zossie. Also, I bet you there's someone that's definitely going to be foolish enough to do the thing that you said. Alright, come on, Cosmon. We gotta go back to Lily. Oh, you! Thank you, Daniel. And I should thank Trumby, too. Here, let me at least do this. Yay, healing. Yep, or Corio changes forms and nectar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, Daniel! Oh, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. Heh. <laughs> hey, Daniel! I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Not giving me much choice there, bro. Let's go, Pokemon Trainer Hal. Who's got three mons this time? Those Poppy's not evolved. Ha! Nerd. That was level 13, though. Hit you with a Super Sonic. Use your right off the bat. Nice. On, hurt yourself, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. Damn. Let's get the disarming voice. Be careful of that. Um, let's go ahead and pluck you. Ha! Stole your citrus berry. Get bent, nerd. Alright, here we go. Disarming voice. Hopefully not gonna... Uh, that was a crit? Wow. I did nothing. That was a crit. Alright, Pikachu coming out next. Um, it's gonna have to be Bug Zapper because it's the only Pokemon with a ground type move right now. Here we go, Mud Slap! Get that accuracy lowered. Nice. Aw, oh, still hit. Hopefully one more should do it. Nice, there we go. And Bug Zapper grows to level 16. Excellent. Let's learn Spark. Finally get an electric type move. Uh, probably get rid of Bite because I haven't been using that at all. Ooh, Noibat. All right, that's a new one. Um, the Dragon type. I don't think it's a Dragon type with the laws in the Noiburn. So I think I'd be safe to stick with Bug Zapper. Oh no, wait, no, that means it has flying type moves, you idiot! Switch! Switch out! Switch out, you dork! Fucking, uh, Yuri Geller. Well, that means I do some switch training, in that case. Fuck it. Um, we're gonna pretend that that was on purpose. Okay, here we go, confusion. 
Nice. Aw, oh, didn't level up, really? Oh well. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Daniel? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. Now, I'm not stopping now. I'm gonna use this momentum to beat my old Gramps, too. Hey there, Daniel. You like to count on you, yeah? Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this, then? How, have you finished your first trial, too? I bet you used some styling moves, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All thanks to Poplio. Hollow's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? It's all a part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. Taking on the island kahuna in a battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. Yeah, no, I gotta battle some NPCs first. Not think I need another one. But I do need is some potions. Oh, you know the person you want to play with? Both keep touching your lower screen to be connected. Okay, I accidentally clicked on the quick link thing. My bad. I'm assuming that's for, like, local uh, multiplayer. I thought I needed to heal up. Never mind. Anyway, there should be one more person past the bridge I have to battle. I don't think it's this guy. Okay, but apparently he wants to show me something. Wow, nice rainbow. When you see a rainbow like this, it's a good idea to pray that your journey will go well. It will bring you good fortune. This isn't the typical sort of rainbow like the ones you see when the rain lifts, but I think it'll still be effective. I'll be sure to offer up a prayer on this rainbow for your success in the island challenge. I'm sure there's a real reason why those rainbows are there, but... It's probably not till way, way, way later. I'll draw out the power of my partner, Growlithe, by giving it an item to hold. I'm sure it still will not be enough. Alright, setting out Growlithe against my Route 1 Burb. Hit you with a pluck. Ow, you jerk. There we go, nice. And Yuri Geller grows to level 17, very cool. Alright, that should be everyone, so I should be able to battle the Roost guy now. Presumably. Yep, here we go. Alright, show me the power of Roost, dude. Ace Trainer Makana. Alright, Slowpoke is not gonna be the Pokemon that have, uh, fucking have Roost. Clearly. Get your cursor off the screen, Daniel. Let's go with this pluck. See, see what good that does me. Nothing. And I'm about to get yawned. Excellent. Even better. Okay, why don't you talk? Get out here and handle it. You're almost gonna get to level 19. Stop yawning on my Pokemon! You dick! Almost. I'm gonna wait even longer to knock you out because I'm about to fall asleep. Yep. Super. I'm gonna burn my one turn of being asleep for sure.
Water gun, not gonna do much, thankfully. Hey, come on, Wanchi Tong, wake up. Wake up. There we go. Hit this astonish. Bah! Good. And Wanchi Tong grows to level 19. Excellent. I like it. Let's learn Foresight. Nah. I'll live. Who won Burb grows to level 17. Very cool. Alright, now we got a Butterfree. Butterfree can learn Roost? Well, I guess I'm about to find out. It's Silver Wind, it's gonna be neutral because I'm half flying. Well, if you do know Roost, you're not using it. I thought maybe you would. Well, now you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Haha. <laughs> and Ehada grows level 18. And Shroud grows level 18. Nice. You get the TM for Roost now, right? Yep. TM 19, Roost. Excellent. Alright, so let's now actually head back to Iki Town. You should be able to do just by going down here, getting this item. Anything of interest over here? Yep, there's a tree with some berries. Oh, now I find a crap brawler! Well, see, now I'm gonna have to catch this and go all the way back to that Pokemon Center over there. There's that one person that wanted me to catch a Crib Brawler. Show it to them. Crap, my defense is lowered. Let's go ahead and use the Heal Ball. Or Nest Ball, I should say. Yeah, I shouldn't use the heal balls unless I'm planning to add them to my party. Because if you add them to the PC, they're just going to get healed automatically, so there wouldn't be any point to using that ball specifically. Nice. Nice, there we go. We're going to add Crib Brawler's data to the Pokedex. Crab Brawler, the boxing Pokemon. Its, its hard panthers are well suited to both offense and defense. Fights between two Crab Brawler are like boxing matches. Cool. We're gonna call you. Glass. Joe. Send you to a box. Now we can get all these berries. Excellent. Cool, cool. How many fucking berries are underneath this tree? God damn. There we go. Hey, bro. Hello, you're a local, aren't you? Yeah, if they were to ask someone like you, uh, someone like you, you've got to help me. All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, don't have a stable eye. I do have this crib brawler though, so I can go back to the Pokemon Center on Route Two, which is all the fucking way back this way, and show that girl so I can get my reward from her. Uh, I don't want to battle this mon. Get away from me. Thank you. Nope. Nope. Okay. Skillful dodging. Tactical maneuvers. That's what that was. Not just really frightened dodging. 
Okay, here we go. I can heal up while I'm here, too. Cool. Hey, give me your money. Nice, good 3Gs. Alright, while I'm here, I'm gonna sell these fucking X items I'm not gonna use. Right, so I can purchase more stuff here, nice. Okay, first, get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Like, all these X items I'm not gonna use. Okay. Now this big mushroom. Okay. Now let's see what we can buy. Let's see. Da, 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 da. We will buy some great balls. Good. Even at a nice 40. And then... Spend the rest on super potions. Cool. At this point, I honestly don't think it matters if I go back through Route 3 or Route 2. But I think it'd be easier to go back through Route 3, because there's... Not as much grass, I think the most I have to do is dodge some shadows to avoid wild Pokemon. Oop, like so. So it'll be a lot easier to go through Route 3 to get back towards uh, Iki Town than it would be to go all the way around through Route 2 again. And here we go. And we're back where we were just a little while ago. Oh, hey, Rockruff. Ah, uh, sleepy boy. Hey, sleepy boy. Let's turn to the right. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. It's just gonna make me think of the fucking cha-cha slide, man. It's gonna happen. But you're turning to the right. That was also to the right. Ha! Ah, so cute. I stare at you, because you're cute. Stroke it. Stroke the pupper. Pet the pupper. Aw. Do one game of peekaboo and then we'll be on our way. Ooga booga booga. Did you say anything different after playing for the second time? Nope. Alright. There's gotta be some kind of endgame to playing with all those Pokemon, honestly. I would like to think... I'm looking forward to seeing what moves you and your Pokemon pour your soul into. Now that you've gone and cleared your first trial, Daniel. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been. But even I think it's a great achievement. See, Demi agrees. The melee melee Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to the fullest. Yeah, might not be a good, uh, might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves. What's up, Hala? Congratulations on clearing your trial in the Vernon Cavern. Good work. I suppose you're here to battle the Kahuna. You think you and Trumbeak are ready for me, Daniel? Definitely. Bring it on, nerd. I've been waiting for this. Oh! 
I have been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Daniel, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me you and your Trumbeak and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the Grand Trial begin! Alright, here we go, kids. The first Kahuna battle of Ultra Sun against Kahuna Hala. Starting off with a Machop. Let's go! Ruan Burb, you are the star of the show right now. Like, you and Yuri Geller, basically. Let's hit this pluck. Ooh, that's not gonna kill. Good, uh, good three quarters there about, though. Do, 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 do. There we go. Bring out Makuhita next. Um, no, let's keep Brute One Burb. Oh, fake out. All right. Eesh. The fuck out of here. Thank you. Nice crit. Hope I didn't need that. But I'll take it. Ooh, crap, Brawler. Okay. This is different. You actually had a Mankey in the, uh, in the original games. I don't remember if he had a Crab Brawler in addition to that, but I know he had a Mankey on his team before. Ooh, we're getting all that Fighting Type Z power. All out pummeling coming my way. Yeah. I'm about to catch all those hands and feet. Ooh! One hit point! The fighting spirit is real! Fine, use your super potion, I don't care. You're gonna get hit with this pluck. Wow, that actually did not do enough. Okay, uh, super potion right now. Let's go. Right the hell now. There we go. Whoops. Let's pluck again. Almost. Going for Leer, that's fine. You should die in the next move. No matter what I do, you're dead. Bop. There we go. Nice. And that is the game. Hunahala is down, and Route 1 Burb is up to level 18. Nice. And Bug Zapper grows to level 17. We defeated Kahuna Hala. Whoa, well played. I know it was. I used moves that were super effective against your Pokemon. It's a pretty, pretty solid strat, I would say. Hmm. The results come as no surprise to me. We're a fine trainer, and we're fine Pokemon, too. Tapu Koko agrees. Oh, and our mighty Tapu Koko- I just said that. Stop stealing my lines. Huh. Perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except the Z-Crystal. It allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. Oh, neat. Got the Z-Crystal for fighting time moves. I believe it's, uh, Phytinium Z? In other case, we got the first Grand Trial complete! Nice, making some progress here. Observe, Daniel. If you, use the, if you wish to use the Fighting Type Z power, move your arm like this, then bend your hips like this and pose. Also, some of these kids are running around the hallway and I don't appreciate it. 
Now then, Daniel, with this victory, you have cleared all the trials of Mele Mele Island, the first of Alola's islands. The Mele Mele stamp is proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in a trade, will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that you meet, both what you see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. Neat. Oh, hey, Tauros. Whoa there, Tauros. I've got an idea. Yep, here we go. Let me get that ride pager. Yep. Nice. Gonna get our super special ride outfit. Sick. Yep, and now we can do the ride pager and we get Toro's dash. We get our special riding outfit. I think it actually does look a bit different than the last one. I'm not entirely sure. Might be a bit. Uh, that looks different. That definitely looks different from the last one in Normal Sun and Moon. Congratulations, Daniel. Your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid eyes on you at the trainer school. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z-Power. Oh, I know. Why not stop by the Alola Photo Club for a commemorative photo? With Toro, she could be down to ha uh, Howley City Hall in no time. Yep, future happiness, blah blah blah, I getcha. Thank you. Yep, Toro's can smash your big rocks. Look, he's got something for me too. All swipe. Alright, make it easier to catch Pokemon. Nice. Gives him 1 HP. Nice. Nevi, get in the bag, you little shit. I bet you he's totally not even gonna beat Hala. He's totally not even gonna do it. You're all getting so strong already, yeah? I can't wait to see how much more you'll grow. Alright, time to get in the boat. Uh, blah. Alright, time to get the boat ready. Lily, you gonna help me clean it? Be sure to scrape those barnacles off the side. Alright, so... I'm gonna go to the Hello oh, the City Pokemon Center real quick. Actually, I think I just might go with that. Where, wherever the net, wherever the closest healing place is. Register this. Yeah, we're gonna register that to up. There we go. Hey, mom, heal me. Why aren't you healing me, mom? Oh, whatever. The fucking Pokemon Center is like right there. Let's just do it this way. And then this way, we're not too far from the photo club, so we can get that commemorative photo taken. All that nonsense. Okay. I'm gonna save the game here, and that's actually where I'm gonna cut off the stream for now, because I've been going for a good five and a half hours. We made some real good progress. Beat the first trial and the first Kahuna. We're basically done with Melee Melee Island, except for going around and finding a bunch of stuff behind Toro's uh, dash rocks. But that I could do off screen, honestly. Um, so what I'm going to do 
is later today, for those of you who are watching on Twitch right now, later today, uh, like sometime in the afternoon probably, I will continue with another bit of Pokemon Ultra Sun. In the meantime, I'm going to add a bottom screen thing to the stream layout so you can actually see my bottom screen. And then I'm also going to go around and get the stuff behind the Tauros Dash Rocks. I'm going to take care of that, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm also going to go in, because I actually pre-ordered the game, I'm going to go into Mystery Gift and get the, the Quick Balls and the, the special Rock Wrap that evolves into the, the Dusk form at certain times and whatever and all that stuff. So I'm going to do all that. I'm going to come back sometime this afternoon. We're going to stream more. But I honestly need to rest my voice and fucking, you know, just... Um, you know, just leave this until I think there are going to be, you know, more people attending, because I honestly started this at, like, 1 a.m., when most of you are probably asleep. But thankfully, these will be on YouTube as VODs later, for those who didn't catch the stream. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching the stream if you came out live. If you're on YouTube, give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more in the future. And until then, I'll catch you later, Pokemon Trainers. Super Nerd Daniel, out.